So I made a gigantic Terraria mod pack. Like there legitimately might be a hundred bosses in this mod pack. Not to mention the hundreds of weapons and hundreds of accessories also in this. So we're gonna play through it and beat every boss that's in it and really see just how chaotic a giant Terraria mod pack like this gets. So let's hop into it. All right, off rip, we can tell that there's a lot going on. We got two pals spawned in right away. Go ahead, do damage boys. We got artifact slot active accessory and then we got a wing slot the whole point of this mod pack was to become broken i'm not gonna lie i wanted to make a mod pack like this because i just wanted my character to be so broken left click to access the talent tree yo talent tree i don't even know how this works world map right click to access the world map but this is the this is the cool mod where we get to like fast travel everywhere it's like new islands and stuff to fight bosses what is the first step to play in any modded terraria world you install boxinator and make like 30 houses that's the first step boom okay we are in our first modded biome the the i don't even know what it's called the reach i think it's called briar might be the briar whoa look at this chest what the heck <laughs> This is a crazy chest. Insect on a stick. It's not like a boss. These chests are packed. Do you guys remember an older Terraria where uh, you had to jump over every single one high block and you didn't just automatically walk up them? Look at my inventory, bro. This is crazy. This is why you don't play like mega mod packs. You loot early in mega mod packs. Look at your inventory. This is insane. And I got a blowpipe. Pause on that. I ain't blowing no pipe. Whoosh, whoosh. Oh my god, it's such a good weapon. This is what we came to find. Enchanted sword, turn this baby into an accessory. Oh, it's a pet and not a, a, a weapon? Dude, they scam my ass. Y'all just witnessed me getting fucking scammed. A relic of the Among Us 5 SMP. What does that even mean? <laughs> what could that mean? I just looked it up and couldn't find anything. <laughs> that makes it even funnier because it's like, that means these dudes that have made that this mod or weapon from the mod, they got their own like inside SMP. And then on top of them having their own inside SMP, they have done it like seven times, five times. Spear, you get to stay around. What is this, what does this do? Oh, it actually does bring in a boss. Oh my God. I did not think that was actually gonna bring in a boss. Does he even do damage? I feel like he's not hitting me. That, that projectile just asked, am I in God mode or something? No, I've taken damage. Have I? Yeah, I've taken damage. Did I just make like a gnome noise? <laughs> tree toad. Top five terrier bosses of all time. The tree toad at number one. Hold up, I got a sheep. Let's bring in the sheep. Where the hell is he at? I do like no damage, which makes sense as it is earlier. That's why I'm going to need the NPCs to go crazy. Help me out now. Go crazy now, y'all. Go crazy. Don't go too crazy, though. Don't go too crazy. They're going too crazy. AI breaking. That's how crazy they're going. Oh, he's tired. Beat his ass. What's that? Am I supposed to pick that up? Oh, I'm supposed to pick that up. He tried it, though, and I was ready for it. He got wings? He kind of moving now. I don't have a lot of health, so I can 100% lose this fight. <laughs> this dude got a lot more health than me. The good thing is he got a bad hitbox. That should save us. This is bad hitbox. Buff, buff. Just pop any potion I have. Keep me alive. I have to win the first boss fight. It's not going to be a good modern run if I don't win the first boss fight. You got to get tired soon, right? As part of his AI is getting tired. What the fuck? What the heck? <laughs> this is a pretty decent attack for a boss this early in the game. Okay. Get tired now. Go ahead. Lay down. Lay down. You don't want to lay down? Imagine if I made like a full arena. Actually, I don't know if that'd even be that good. I don't have a double jump or a grappling hook, so a full arena might have actually been useless. Thank God his hitbox is tinier rather than big. That makes this more than doable. Dude, we're so close. I'm running out of arrows, though. I'm going to need my summon to put up Jordan numbers. Kobe numbers. I'm Shaq. Or I'm Scotty Pippen. He could be Jordan. Oh, here we go. Boom. And there we go. First boss already beat. Beautiful. And I wasn't even ready. Wasn't even ready. He gave me a frog leg. That's a nice accessory to have early game. What the heck? Yo, and that actually is the first boss we fight. What the heck? Yo, look. The trees in here are different. Yo, this is sick. What is this? Glow web. Cool. New cobweb moment. What was that in the middle? Is that something important in the middle? Can I click on it? Can I break it? Oh my god. How am I accidentally fighting more bosses? How does this keep happening? I don't got no arena. I don't even got good weapons for this. <laughs> I also don't feel like I know when I'm taking damage because I'm not <laughs> used to that gnome noise. <laughs> Stupid glow moth. This is the second boss I've accidentally ran into. Is this still alive? Oh, it's coming. Oh, that's kind of cool though. See, that's why modded Terraria is great. It's because things like that happen. Can't even be mad. That was exciting. Damn, this snail's tanky. What the heck? He didn't even drop gold? 
I ain't never fighting no damn snails again. Green basin, true damage. I could wear it. What the heck? <laughs> it's a hat. It's a boomerang that's a hat? Amazing. That's the Riddler's hat? It might actually be the Riddler's hat. Blocky Bobby the Noob. Oh, that's my favorite Tory NPC. Oh, we getting, we getting some. Oh, it's ugly ass costume. I heard some really strange games available on the Switch. Shit, Wumbo Sloth, he got the little porn game where you like feel up girls on the Switch with like the Joy-Cons. He literally sent me a video of him like playing that shit at a hotel. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what the fuck? Where's my copy? <laughs> this thing right here this is the thing that gives you like good luck or bad luck right so let, let's get the little ore the little ore right here is pretty useful but then i break it and we're supposed to get like good luck or bad luck so let's see oh no i right click it bad luck of course remote boulder access summons a pet boulder i think we found our replacement use the boomerang yo you dropped a gun Keen bone dart gun. It's a fucking dart gun. <laughs> Who the hell is this? <laughs> I'm over here ranting about the game. We got Blocky Bobby. Blocky Bobby the noob has departed. Oh, he heard me talking shit about him. My bad, Blocky Bobby. The best thing about modded Terraria, the mod packs, is how much more life there is just everywhere. Like, there's way more enemies and stuff in every biome. Need more Terraria mods like that. There used to be that one mod, but I don't think it's updated in a while. But, like, Terraria mods that just add in more enemy variety. That's like an S-tier Terraria mod. Like, I don't get why more people don't make mods like that. That's why I always say, like, Minecraft modding is way better than Terraria modding because people in minecraft they focus more on like niche little things that are way cooler but like all terraria developers mod developers they all want to do the same thing 90 percent of the time it's like big mod pack with bosses and structures which i don't hate but i want to see like some other things bro so many cool ideas mod developers can do yet they just do the same thing over and over keep it simple give me a terraria mod that adds in like 10 new zombie variations and they go from there five new skeleton variations four new slime variations like they keep on going from there we used to have a mod like that for 1.4.3 and then we used to have a mod like that for like 1.3 i don't remember what version suspicious looking apple summons a pet worm what the <laughs> what did i say he said a slur Hey, don't be talking shit. I was looking at my phone. <laughs> what a little dickhead. I'm not messing with him anymore. This is just how the vanilla Terry Ocean should look. It needs this ambience. It needs this music. It needs the little fish swimming around. They're adding the little fish swimming around, which is actually exciting. It's a little minor feature, but still exciting. Okay, remember when I said I would replace my pet, right? If he talks shit. And he did talk shit. But the thing is, the next new pet I have is this ugly ass thing. So you know, you know what we're going to do? I'm installing a new texture pack. I'm installing a texture pack that replaces the shark. I want to fight that moth again. But before we do that, we got a trip to the desert to make. Okay, we come back over here. I got the, the large amethyst on my head. So I should be able to open this up. Uh-huh. Boom. That gives us Belfegor's ring. That's an interesting name. Baldur's Gate ass name. Chain together blocks when mining. Break up to 50 blocks at once. What the heck? Hard challenge. Don't look at the zoologist. She hasn't even moved in. She don't want to move in. She knows my character is a freak. And not even for her human side, for her animal side. She doesn't move in with Fent abusers. <laughs> Who said he abuses Fent? Fent. Just because we were talking about fed and all doesn't mean my dude does it. Oh shoot, look, it spawned naturally. It's kinda cool. Not as cool as fed all. <laughs> What's going on here? If I let go, does this mind all of it? Yo. Let's get it. The rematch. The rematch. Guess what? I came with some of the greatest gear I could come with. Just kidding. But still solid gear nonetheless. I'm going to throw these firecrackers at you. Why not? Give them out of my inventory. They've been in my inventory for a minute. Give me a reason to use these. These are like kind of like Molotovs. Pretty solid. You're kind of beat my ass up. So let me go back to my bread and butter. The weapon that was doing crazy damage. This kind of a cool boss, bro. You got a lot of attacks I gotta actually be paying attention to. I can't just damage sponge him. Oh, and you got a cool death animation. What's going on right now? Jesus. I keep running into the balls. You're supposed to avoid the balls. All right, let's get it. Round two, baby. Round two, and I'm not going to be messing around this time. Oh, my God. Stop, please. Not messing around. Straight DPS. I ain't doing no cute stuff. Straight to the DPS. This is kind of like a low-key tough boss. He moves a lot. A lot of projectiles. Solid early game fight boss. Okay, so I can't even stand on my lower platforms because I get hit. <laughs> I can't stand on those because those are just not tall enough to avoid that attack. 
So I killed the glow moth, which is all the way down here, and I skipped like 20 bosses in between. <laughs> oh my god, I could be a pumpkin. This is a top five. This is low key a top five Terry Vanity. Did I tell you guys? Yeah, I haven't told this story yet. I pretty much almost got scammed on eBay the other day. Not like me buying something got scammed, but I have an extra Valve Index, and I, I was trying to sell it, and some dude bought it for me, and I listed the Valve Index as it's used but barely used. So it's almost brand new. Keyword, listen to those keywords, almost brand new. Not brand new, still listed as used. So this dude bought it for me, which pain in the ass to ship. I had to like break down a box to fit the right size. And I taped the hell out of that box. Like we had to modify the whole box. Me and my mom were working on it. And then the dude finally gets it. And then like I open my email and I just see like refund request. And I'm like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on here? So then I open the email and the dude's like, let me, let me get the exact email. So I know I'm not uh, paraphrasing here. This shit legit has killed my whole mood this whole week. He said, hello, I have received the headset, but all in caps but i can clearly see a couple of signs that this headset was used more than you claimed it was as dares scratched on the base stations and front plastic on the front panel of the headset i can proof if you need it it is dear anyway you can make it up to me first off motherfucker is stupid let's start with that so i see him send this message and i'm like oh my god here we fucking go like off rip i already knew like this dude's probably trying to scam me he's probably just trying to get a refund or some bullshit like that but he says in this message he's like yeah there's a couple more marks on the shit than you said there were and i'm like what is there keep in mind this extra valve index aka vr headset i had i barely touched so then motherfucker is like is there a way you can make it up to me and i'm like what the fuck does this dude mean make it up to me what am i making up to you and then i'm like yeah we could just refund we could just refund it if you, the item is not to your liking and he said a refund is not really what i want i was hoping to maybe just get a couple bucks back only because i would have paid less for it if i saw any cosmetic marks does this sound good to you and i was like all right yeah sure maybe the motherfucker wants like 50 bucks Bucks. The thing is, I would have gave him 50 or 75 bucks. No problem. If he said that, because I'm like, okay, maybe there is a couple marks on it that are messed up, even though I'm pretty sure there really isn't any marks on it, at least when I sent it. And then he says, I was thinking $200 because I'll have to replace the base station as one of the scratches is right on the lens. And I'm like, 200 bucks? You're fucking tweaking. I'm still being nice because I'm a nice person. I try not to be an asshole. And I said, yeah, I'm not doing $200. <laughs> Just refund it. And he said, my apologies. I see a base station price is $150, not $200. He said, if that is fair to request, please let me know. If this is unreasonable to you, let me know. Thank you for being cooperative. What the fuck do you think? Of course, it's unreasonable. And then the dude sends me pictures. I said, just go through with the refund, bro. <laughs> I said, just go through with the refund. I'm not dealing with all your shit. And then he's like, okay, I did rip up some of the plastic off of the uh, like packaging and stuff. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The packaging was already open. Why does it matter? So I told him, just send the refund. And then this dude sends pictures. I want to show you guys the pictures. Because the pictures he sent are so fucking funny. All right, here are the pictures. Hopefully I'm not doxing anything. This is the pictures of the uh, marks and stains and the quote unquote damage. First picture, not a great first picture, right? Yeah, and he got lanky, skinny ass, long ass hands, long ass fingernails, not even clean fingernails. First off, first picture, I don't see anything. What, it's a little bit dirty? It's a fucking headset that goes on your head. Of course, it's gonna be dirty. You know the oil and shit on your headset, on your head? This one, again, oh man, wow, a couple of marks. Use a fucking towel, clean it, bro. Like, what? these pictures aren't showing anything. <laughs> you, you use a fucking vr headset once they're gonna look like this like same thing like well look at these there's barely anything wrong with this me personally if i buy anything from ebay that is used and this is what i'm getting this is good quality <laughs> and th this is the last picture this is the scratch he said that don't even look like a fucking scratch that look like a damn little smudge he said oh the scratch is right over uh, a laser for the base station so it's gonna have trouble reading and i'm like bro <laughs> Capping out your fucking ass. Fuck this dude. Yo, what is that? Gilded invitation. Looks like it was intended for somebody wealthy. I wonder who's gonna come. Drake, maybe? Maybe Bill Gates? Warren Buffett? Who's gonna come from that invitation? I guess we'll see later, right? Let's do it. I'm ready. This boss is pretty much ready, too. The way he's taking a bunch of damage somehow. All right, let's do it. I'm ready. Bag of frozen knives. Yeah, throw the frozen knives at him. Fuck it. All right, use a different weapon. Back to the dart gun. Slide on over here. Yo, speak about sliding you got the penguin sliding on my ass i said on my ass not in my ass what should i use let me use this magic slime sling i barely used it 
Does this even tell me how much damage it does? Five summon damage. <laughs> I don't even know if that's really worth using. Let's fight this squirrel. I'm gonna beat the hell out of this squirrel. Oh, damn. You came in quick. Guess what? I got a bunch of frozen knives for you, buddy. And some icicles. I hope you're warm in there. I hope you got a heater in that bitch. This is about to get real cold. He did not have a heater. Yo, he's selling humans. Interesting. Carter McMoney Pants. That's the rich guy. The very wealthy person. Oh my God, he looks wealthy. Mr. McMoney Pants, I'm a big fan. Invest 15 gold. What the hell do you mean invest 15 gold? We got the stock market in Terraria. How much gold do I have? 34? I mean, I'll invest. But you better turn a profit. Ferragamo gold. Wait, what did he do? You're feeling pretty lucky, yo. He just scammed my ass, but I get like the ultimate lucky stat. So what's like top five Terraria characters that give the best head? This is gonna be good clips for uh, the videos. <laughs> I remember I saw the, this one dude do a Terraria tier list, bro. And he posted it on Twitter. It'd be like the, you know that, uh, the bot on Twitter that posts Terraria Reddit stuff? It'd be like that bot reposting. And then it was a post about a dude rating like the hottest Terraria female characters. And then like, like B tier, he had the princess. And everyone's like, wait, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, like, hold up. I'll turn the face cam on, but I'm not moving the camera. So if it's really high, I look like I'm four foot five. Look like my hairline's messed up, but I got a perfectly healthy hairline. Throwing these up in the air. Hopefully they don't get caught in like a electrical wire somewhere and burn down everything. All right, that's the end of the stream. Thank you everybody for coming. It's a very fun mod pack. I'm enjoying the mod pack so far.